tell you this now. If you and you and John McCormick got to be Mr. Rayburn. Now, I've been letting well, you all off. Well, let me tell you, don't. I don't, run, I don't yes, you do. Majority. Yes, you do. You the majority. Well, you can just tell John. Says majority. I've heard. The, I've heard Mr. Rayburn says majority leader. I'm not going to do this. Now you just say I'm not going to do it. And I'll tell you what you've got to do. You got to say to these civilian employees. Well, they shouldn't be passed. We should. Now, now wait a minute. Let me tell you. I've got a steel strike. The end of August. And if you if you pass this thing, you break all of my guidelines, and they're gone, and I'm through. Well, I don't want to pass it. All right, just tell them, them just tell them not to give them a rule, and don't let them get to 21 days. Wage is just as wild as anything right. we ever right. had, and it'll pass if it comes out. I suppose right. it'll come out. I don't know. Well, you can't get a rule, can you? I don't know. The speaker talked to I talked to the speaker, and we both talked to Roosevelt, and the speaker wouldn't. Uh, he just doesn't understand my language. That's the difference. I'll tell you that right now. Well, he doesn't understand how important that is nationwide. He, he knows that Northeast doesn't matter. Anything. But uh, we, we've got about three bills that we're going to get that, that we're going to get hurt on. That's one of them. And I, I think we've got. I think the federal employees thing, the minimum wage, the uh, FCC could all hurt us. What about the 21-day rule? How do you keep them from getting that on the... On they ask for it on everything in the Labor Committee. Have they asked for it on wage and hour yet? Minimum wage? They have. They've, yes, they ask it routinely on everything that they get. And, it, and, and Judge Smith doesn't give it to But I tell you what I can do. I can get Judge Smith to give a rule on the higher education if we need it. No uh, I just I wish she'd start on him Tuesday. Well, on higher education and, and immigration. Please just do it Monday, because I've got Morse, and I've just got Morse giving me hell, and I don't want to admit it. But he's just threatening me with everything, and I, he's got a 700 million bill, and I want to get rid of it, and I'll tell him, screw yourself. Well, we're, we're, we're going to get we're going to get higher education. I don't have any problem with that. that that's, that's the least. I've got to get it in education. Now, can we pass ARA? Yes, sir. Now what what do we need to do on agriculture? Well, that's the one. We we need to we m need to make the most detailed personal lobby we've made since we passed the cotton bill before. It's worse than the rent subsidy bill. Right, we we've got a real job on our hands on that one. And there's nothing else we have any trouble passing. Uh, we have your, trouble how's keeping things from coming up. That's uh, our that's our biggest problem. How's your how's your boy? Fine. Still got that baseball glove? Let me, let me, let me yes, talk. David, say Has hello, you guys still got that baseball glove? Hello, you still got that baseball glove I gave you? Yeah. How, do you ever play baseball? I'm not playing it now. But, well, not exactly now, but I do play. Is that a pretty good glove you got? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. You going to the ball game with me again next year? Well, how about accepting right now? I'd like to invite you. What? I'd like to invite you to go to the ball game with me. Why don't you accept right now? Ask your daddy if he can't go with me. But that's about next year. Well, that's right. But if I can invite you a year ahead of time, can't you give me an acceptance a year ahead of time? Yes. Will you go? I think so. You think so? All right. Well, be a good boy. Okay. Let me talk to your daddy. Uh, <laughs> He said, he, he said that's too far off, that ball game, a year from now. That's the spring game. Yeah, but he says that he'll go. Right. I invited him, and uh, he says he'll go. And, uh, do you think that, uh, where were all your house members today that didn't come? Were they mad? No, nobody mad. They just, just because we didn't meet. We, we finished our program, and uh, I would like to see us meet. Uh, I'd like to see us meet on Friday and Saturday until we adjourn, because we can adjourn. See, t old Tip O'Neill blew up this week about something on the program. What was it? Did you see him quoting the paper on it? I don't. I didn't see that, but he. he probably, well, bread tax. Yeah, the bread tax. Well, and so did Jim Delaney, but they'll be all right. Uh, I think. Uh, we have them blowing up every day. They never quit blowing up. But uh, I, I tell you one other thing, and this this is uh, this is an honest appraisal. I think we've got a hard job passing the farm bill. I think we've got a hard job keeping a real radical FEPC and a real radical uh, minimum wage bill from coming out. And I don't think that'll help anybody. 
and we've done all we need to do for civil rights this year and last year. We can do FEPC next year. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. I thought we had FEPC with, uh, we got it, with Franklin Roosevelt. He came up and got stronger power. Is that it? Well, no, that's, uh, that's power. He's got one. Out of the committee. That and the minimum wage. And I talked to, to Jimmy Roosevelt and so did the speaker. He said, well, we've got to go to $1.75, include 5 million more people. Well, you include 5 million more people, and including farmers that hire four people, and they have no idea of the impact. They don't, uh, it's one thing to pay a dollar and a half an hour, or $1.75 an hour here in Washington. It's another thing to pay a dollar and 75 cents an hour out there where, they, where their rent costs them about $5 a month. Well, you just have to tell them I can't do it, though. Well, I'm trying to tell Well, don't tell them you said that, but I'm not going to bring it up. I'm going to fight against it. I'm going to beat against all your damn programs. Get you a new leader. I ain't going to do that. You yeah. take good care of yourself, and I'll see you Monday. Don't worry. And take care of my boy for me, and don't let him, uh, old Paul Johnson, just call me in Mississippi. He's mad because I've sent ready started. <laughs> so I'll see you Monday. Okay. Bye.